To guard the sensitive Nagaland Myanmar border in India, they stand shoulder to shoulder with their male counterparts and ensure that you and I have a good night's sleep. Meet the women commandos of Assam Rifles who take on militant organizations every single day. They stand guard that the 1,624 kilometer long border that India shares with Myanmar. In Nagaland's Dimapur, these soldiers are leading the fight against insurgency. In 2016, Assam Rifles first inducted a batch of 100 women personnel into their ranks, and since then, they have been taking down militants who are trying to create tension in the area. The main aim of raising this company as Mahila Company was uh, to facilitate the operations of the Assam uh, Rifles operating in the uh, difficult areas and terrains of Northeast India. With the induction of Mahila Riflemen, these operations have been bit better handled and also the forces now don't face any problems regarding to the, uh, with frisking of uh, female underground workers or terrorists who are there here. The old woman battalion of the Assam Rifles is called the Lushai Company and is stationed in Dimapur for training. Like Naxals, insurgents in Nagaland and Manipur are known for ambushing security forces and launching attacks. Their modus operandi makes the job of these troops even more dangerous. The Lushai company sits in wait, anticipating possible attacks by these insurgents and then counter any and all offensives launched by the militants. Training our recruits to carry out the operations during day, night and with their own weapons. So they have to clear the stoppages on their own. There will be no armor provided to them when they are in the operations. And that is how this is an advantage, like uh, giving them an opportunity to uh, handle the weapons blindfoldedness. Uh, then this gives an opportunity to handle them in day, night, weather, any kind of circumstances. The terrain is tough and warfare in the jungles is challenging. It requires several hours of aggressive training to take on the insurgents and these women soldiers are ready to give it their all. We being soldier, we have to, it's very necessary for us to develop military traits. One of this is to be being physically fit and mentally robust. So in order to develop all the soldierly traits in our recruit, we, uh, we provide them with basic obstacle course so that their body becomes very agile and flexible in order to overcome any unforeseen situations if they go for any operational routes. Assam Rifles is the only paramilitary force that is directly under the command of army officers. This enables the force to find the enemy more effectively. The remote jungle areas along the border makes the Myanmar sector extremely dangerous and these brave soldiers are making a big contribution in protecting their nation. Uh, here we start basics se shuru karte hai, basic training recruit ki par hoti hai, jahan par hum inko navigation, we start with the basics here. The basic training after recruitment happens here, like how to navigate in the jungles, both during the day and night. How does the scout take care of the area? This is taught to them, so it becomes their second nature. We train them in such a way that these troops won't make a mistake of crossing the border or fail to fight the enemy. Uh, the Assam Rifles is the country's oldest paramilitary force. Along with guarding the Myanmar border, these troops are also responsible for the country's internal security, making their contribution even more valuable. Bureau Report, we on.